in an old house in Scotland, something is blocking the chimney. So, reaching inside the flue, a man pulls out what looks like a crumpled ball of rags. He almost throws them away as well, but something stops him at the last minute. Could this apparent piece of trash be someone else's treasure? When renovators peered inside an old chimney, they discovered priceless 17th century relic. Here's how the story unraveled. The man was renovating a house in Aberdeen, a city in the northeast of Scotland, when he made the startling discovery. Yes, while working on the old chimney, he encountered what appeared to be a ball of old fabric. Judging by the shape of the object, it seemed as if a previous owner had stuffed it up the chimney, possibly to stop a cold wind from blowing through into the house below. Now, however, it was difficult to tell what the item's original purpose may have been. Unable to identify it, the man who discovered the object considered tossing it into the trash. Happily, though, he had a change of heart and instead decided that his local museum might be interested. Eventually, the object found its way to the National Library of Scotland in Edinburgh. Rolled up in a polythene bag, it certainly didn't look like much when it arrived. However, researchers soon realized that they had uncovered an incredible find. In fact, conservationists at the library quickly determined that this unassuming bundle of rags was actually a map, one dating as far back as the late 17th century. What's more, they believed that it would once have been a great status symbol for its owner. Back in the 17th century, maps were seen as enviable possessions and a sign of great wealth. And the object here was no different. Measuring 7 feet long by 5 feet wide, the chimney map, as it became known, would once have been given pride of place in its owner's home. Apparently, it was produced in London, England, by a mapmaker named George Wilde. However, Wilde was known for copying maps initially drafted by others, and the origins of the chimney map are actually thought to have lain in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Experts in fact, believe that the map was based on one drawn up by Schenk and Valk, who were popular Dutch mapmakers in the 17th century. Formed from eight separate sheets of paper and designed to be hung on a wall, it would have required a great deal of space to be properly displayed. In order to make the map his own, moreover, Wilde added illustrations of famous people and places around the edges. And, incredibly, experts at the library were able to painstakingly restore these details and provide a fascinating insight into life more than 300 years ago. Because of the presence of William III of England and his wife, Mary, in a prominent position on the map, researchers were able to date it to around 1690. In fact, they initially speculated that the king's Protestant religious beliefs might have caused the map to be hidden away. It's more likely, however, that the map's value simply faded over time. Although it was once a symbol of wealth and power, its significance would have decreased as the world around it changed. Nonetheless, how the map ended up in Aberdeen remains a mystery, although staff at the National Library of Scotland must be glad that it did. And after a lengthy and difficult restoration process, they were able to restore the map to its former glory. According to conservator Claire Thompson, the restoration was the hardest job she had ever faced. Much of the paper had been lost, she told Discover, the National Library of Scotland's magazine, in 2016. And the remainder was hard and brittle in places and soft and thin in others. Regrettably, the canvas base that had been attached to the map had deteriorated badly. Because the fabric and the paper reacted differently to their environment over time, the map had ended up cracked and distorted. Still, eventually Thompson and her team managed to unroll the map and split it into smaller sections in order for the conservation work to begin. First, they attached the pieces to a temporary backing and used a humidifier to gradually reintroduce moisture to the fibers of the paper. As the paper became less dry, Thompson was then able to gently prise open the map's remaining creases and folds. Next, the team carefully lined up all the pieces in their correct order. So, at last, the full picture was beginning to come together. The final stage of the process involves suspending each section of the map and water at a temperature of 104 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Amazingly too, this didn't destroy the fragile documents. Instead, it allowed dirt to be removed from the paper while keeping the intricate designs intact. The restoration was a resounding success. What had previously looked fit for the bin was revealed to be a beautiful and detailed work of art, featuring everything from scenes of exploration and great sea battles to far-off regions such as South America. Today, the map takes pride of place once more, just as it would have done three centuries earlier. This time, though, it is on display in the map's reading room of the National Library of Scotland, making it the pride of one of the largest cartographic collections in the world.